What's up, besties? Welcome in. Um, I'm doing a, a kind of like flash straight to YouTube reading here. Um, it is the solstice, so happy solstice. Summer solstice for us in the Northern Hemisphere, winter solstice for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, but specifically for those of you, those of us that live in Canada, it is Indigenous Peoples Day, National Indigenous Peoples Day. And it is a day of learning and reflection and celebration of Indigenous culture. Um, um, and just, you know, a day to reflect, a day to learn, and a day to reflect on how it is that you can help decolonize your mind, your heart, your friends, your family, everyone here if you are of settler origin, you know, and so I'm just going to start this reading. Okay, it's a lot deeper. I'm not going to put it all in my reading, but I'll put some sources down in um, the comments if you are interested in learning a bit more about how we celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day here in Canada and what the purpose is in all of that. Um, but I'm going to start this reading with a land acknowledgement where I respectfully, this is it right here, where I resp respectfully acknowledge the fact that I live, work, and play, exist, uh, raise my family here in traditional territories of the New Child News people. Um, and I am just ever so grateful to be able to live and share space, community, and culture with our Indigenous friends here, okay? Um, that being said, I'm going to bring the sound bowl. I'm just going to get a reading and see what comes up, okay? Um, yeah, and just wanted to say happy National Indigenous Peoples Day to those of us who are here celebrating in Canada. Here we go. Watch your ears. I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance. As I interpret these messages, may they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay, um, if you feel like it, you can let me know if or how you celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day um, in the comments. I would love to hear your stories. Okay, we have the yin energy coming through and that is the feminine energy okay we could be reading for divine feminines or you could be in the energy right now of receiving creating um, very beautiful energy surrounding you at the moment okay let's see what else we have to be fair to be fair um i love that energy <laughs> speaking of canadian um relevancy here whenever I see that energy to be fair if you watch the show Letter Kenny you'll know what I'm talking about when I say to be fair <laughs> um but yeah it is it, it always makes me smile but to be fair something here is definitely going to um, balance out it reminds me of the justice energy okay so justice for divine feminines okay hopefully justice for indigenous folks oh my gosh right anyway I, it's it's so huge I could do a video all about this um, but yeah, here we have co-create here and now. There's something you're creating and to the C. Okay, co-create energy here and now, which is just coming through from that reading we did yesterday, I believe. We did that reading yesterday or today. I don't know when you saw it. <laughs> Maybe you haven't seen it yet. Um, but anyways, we have the here and now. So y'all are focusing on being present being like very much in the moment, living your life, really participating in your life. And what I mean by that is you're very aware, you're very awake, very conscious, trying to live a very um, balanced, conscious life, okay, where you are co-creating with the universe, okay. Um, and you're sending, <laughs> it's like, um, to be fair, there's something here, there's something here going on. I need to, I need to figure that this out with tarot, okay? But you're in a very creative moment, okay? You're in a very creative moment. Um, and something, whatever you're doing right now, you are calling in, you are manifesting what it is that you truly desire, okay? So really cool energy to be working with um, during the solstice, very powerful time of year, okay? Uh, let's see, can I get some details here? We have the Knight of Swords. Let me just see what comes up here. The Knight of Swords. Something may be coming in towards you very quickly here. What do we have? 
Oh, the Knight of Swords. We have the Three of Swords coming up in the reverse. I need details, please. What are we reading on today? Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles. So what I get from this is somebody is coming through to, to okay, to, to mend something here, to be fair. Somebody is coming through. Yeah, here it is. I knew it. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. The Two of Cups. Okay. Someone you feel a very deep bond to. Somebody where there is a lot of love between the two of you. Um, ooh, dang. We have the Seven of Swords underneath the deck. Okay. Um, someone here has definitely tried to get away with something in your world. Okay. Um, I don't feel like that's you because again, you are in this energy of really trying to shed um, the things that are just not good for you. I can tell that because of your consciousness and your powerful energy, your creative energy. You're really working on your yourself, your journey, your spiritual path, you know, um, really getting back into some kind of balance in your life, okay? Could be getting over some heartache, could be getting over some challenges in your world, but it's like you're putting yourself back together is what I'm what I'm picking up here. You're putting yourself back together. Most likely after something or someone has been um, very much hurtful, somebody wasn't kind to you, okay? Somebody may have said some things that have really uh, stuck with you in, in a way. And it's such a shame because we can hear, what is that thing? It's like we can hear like 10 positive things about ourselves and then that one thing that, you know, someone might say that cuts right to the heart, you know, you hold on to that forever, right? Or you hold on to that much longer than you need to. Um, and that's just unfortunately the way these this this works, unfortunately. I mean, we can flip the script, we can consciously, and I feel like that's what you're doing, trying to flip the script in your world, trying to focus on the positive, trying to, you know, um, really be in the here and now, you know, present uh, with your thoughts, um, and especially with your thoughts, you know, not dwelling on the things that have hurt you in the past, not dwelling on the people that have hurt you in the past, you know, really trying to heal basically from that um, because not every thought that we think is true or not every word someone speaks to us is true. I just see that somebody may have been very cutting um, towards you with their words, okay? And it may have come very quickly and maybe out of nowhere. Um, I do see that all, I feel like for a lot of you, all that you ever try to do with this individual is to be loving, to be kind, to work on the relationship, the connection. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic, but it is definitely with somebody that you love very deeply and somebody that you feel like should should have reciprocated that love, but they did not. They did something here that was hella shady, okay? Um, hella shady. We do have the star coming up underneath, okay? The shady energy. So there is a healing a process that is going on with you currently, okay? And it's a very beautiful time, actually, because I do see that you have come a long way and you have made, you know, strides and leaps and bounds towards this healing, which is ultimately raising your vibration and putting you on the next level that, and you are literally drawing in the energy that you are trying or the manifesting the things that you are trying to create the life you're trying to create. You're manifesting the healing. You're doing the work. You're again, this is coming up a lot in our tribe. So y'all are doing amazing. Y'all are doing amazing work. Okay. Because this, I can just see these themes being repeated, you know, often almost on the daily for the last while at least the last week uh, maybe two okay so i do see that a lot of you are really just like getting back on track with your world with your life right um but, but what is coming towards you there is someone something someone coming towards you a situation here i do feel like there's somebody yeah look at that there is somebody who is very much um <sighs> sad okay very much sad very much mourning the loss of this connection this friendship this relationship um very much in their feelings right now focusing on what has happened in the past okay um and i feel like maybe that was you at one point but i feel like again you are consciously trying to lift yourself up and out of um I want to say a depression, you know, or a, a time where things, you know, you were sad, you were sad, you were hurt. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. You were in your feelings very deeply, but what's happening here is as you, uh, rise above the challenges, as you heal, as you grow, you know, as you work on the self, as you continue and push forward and stay in your own lane and do all the things, 
um, we do have somebody else coming up, this person that hurt you, most likely coming up in their um, feelings over you, what they've done. You know, we've got this story that kind of plays on repeat almost um, lately. We have the Queen of Pentacles. It's like... <sighs> You've really transformed is what I see here. You have really been undergoing a massive transformation in your world where, um, you know, you may have once been focusing on the things that were lost, okay, or the things that you didn't have. Again, switching this mentality, going from focusing on what you don't have into manifesting what you do have and or manifesting more of what you do have. Um, and, and I don't know, it's like overall healing, right? So we have you looking really good right now, focusing on yourself, self-care, self-love, self-healing, uh, focusing on your, not so much your emotions, but more on practical matters, okay? What can I do today to uh, improve my world, to improve my life, to improve the world of others, right? And, and that's kind of you know, exactly kind of where we are. That's one of the purposes even still of the Indigenous Peoples Day here in Canada is to to, to go back over, you know, feel feel the feelings and, and process and learn and educate yourself and others and listen to stories, but then talk about what is it we're going to do from here? How is it we're going to um, help the situation from here, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to apply that because it doesn't always have to be about love in these readings or relationships, but it is our relationships with others, right? Our relationships with the planet, our relationships with, you know, uh, spirit, anything, anyone, okay? So this is very much like um, a reconciliation that is taking place or that wants to take place here, okay? Uh, there's somebody here that wants, yes, okay, we have the Ten of Swords. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been betrayal. There's been backstabbing there's been the worst of the worst okay which i would say is now over because the 10 does represent something that has already taken place okay the worst nothing it's like the worst has already happened and now it's like where do we go from here okay there has to be some type of new beginning there has to be uh there's a dawn you know the dawn of the new day is just right around the corner okay which is an ending so you have totally transformed. Um, you've put all of this, whatever this was here for you, the betrayal, the sadness, the hurt, the pain. It's like you really realized, you've come to this realization that the worst has already happened. Nothing else can go down in that area. Like it's over. Um, you've taken the time out you've needed to, to mourn. Okay. You've taken the time that you've needed to mourn and you've consciously remained present in the moment and say, you know what, I'm not going to live my life just being sad over this one thing. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to be thankful that I'm alive. I'm going to go out and I'm going to, I'm going to create something beautiful for my life. Okay. So there's this determination, there's this resilience, there's this resolve that I'm picking up here in your energy. It's again, like you've, you're putting yourself back together. You have regained your power in a way. Now going back to the situation, I do feel like there is some type of comeback, okay, coming through here. Um, and I know a lot of you are like, I'm not interested in the ex person. I'm not interested in ex people. I'm not interested in re um, hashing any kind of toxic um, situations in my world for your own peace of mind, for your own, I mean, growth, right? Um, but here we do have somebody watching, learning, paying attention, okay? This could um, even just. <laughs> There's some, there's people like trying to learn and watch you because again, I feel like you're shocking people with this transformation. Um, I do feel like there's been some, some kind of switch that's just been flipped and you just don't even, I don't know. It's like, there's something here. Okay, hold on. Let me see. The switch has been flipped and you're looking at life. You're looking at the past in a very, um, a very new way. Okay. A very new way. I do see here with the hangman that, yeah, I feel like there's somebody here who is biding their time. Okay. We do have the king of wands coming through. We have the knight of pentacles. There's someone here who's waiting, watching. <laughs> you know what I just heard is that, I mean, it's so old. Um, it's a Jack Johnson song. It's like sitting, waiting, wishing or something like that. There is somebody in your world who's like um, waiting, just waiting for the right time, waiting for the right moment. They are determined to come towards you and maybe offer like some a wave a white flag or some kind of peace offering. They've got something here um, to give to you. They're just waiting, watching, learning. They're seeing where you are. They're trying to figure out 
when is a good time to approach you. Um, there is a, a theme here of somebody who does want to reconcile, though. Again, this doesn't have to be the lover. You don't want them to come back, okay? I know there's some of you who are like, I just can't do it anymore. I can't listen to the readings anymore about that. And that's healthy and that's good and that's fine. Um, but this might not be about that person. This may be about a friend or a family member or someone else, a coworker, a boss, someone in your world, a teammate you know, um, a business partner. I don't know, right? <laughs> it's like somebody who definitely did you wrong in, in a sense, and they want to apologize. Okay. Now, when you accept an apology or you, or you don't, I mean, when you accept an apology or someone asks for forgiveness, you are totally, I mean, this is an option for you. You can accept that apology. You can offer forgiveness if you feel called to do so. Um, and you don't have to be a part of that person's life. You don't have to invite them back into your world, but you can settle the matter, you know, but there is something here to be fair. This is why I keep seeing somebody wants to come through and give you something. Somebody wants to come here and give you maybe it's peace of mind. What do they want to give you? Temperance, reconciliation, balance, fair, equality. Um, somebody wants to come through and make it right. Someone wants to come through and make it right where they messed up and they betrayed you and they, you know, um, yeah, okay, we have the higher font in the reverse. You know, somebody definitely backed out of a commitment or did something against the rules. You know what I mean? When I see the higher font in the reverse, sometimes it's like rebelling against the system, rebelling against systems. Um, somebody did something that was like not okay. They may have broken the law in some sense. Um, like they may have broken the law or spiritual law, man's law or spiritual law. Um, they may have broken your trust. Absolutely. With the seven of swords, I see that they did. Okay. Highly unfair to you. They broke your trust. Um, and they definitely may have also stepped out on a commitment. Okay. Broke the contract, broke the marriage, broke the, you know what I mean? They broke it. It's broken. They did it, you know? Um, and this is what they're wanting to, there. Somebody's wanting to come through and at least, <sighs> Say their peace, okay? At least state their peace. At least try to mend and reconcile. And I don't know what their intention is. Um, what is the intention of this individual that wants to come through, come back? Yeah, nine of nine of nine of cups. A bunch of stuff fell out face down. So the only one that fell out face up was the nine of cups. They are wanting to come back in and see if they can rectify the situation, see if they can make you happy, see if they can, you know, get back in here. There's somebody who has had some major realizations. Um, when it comes to you, they are very much missing you. They are very much in pain without you. And I do feel like they are reflecting on what it is that they did um, to break the connection, to break your trust, to hurt you. You know, I, that's, it's, that, that's what's happening. So tell me more about what it is that they are reflecting on here. Tell me more about what this person is reflecting on. Yeah, okay. Um, they have gained clarity. Okay, so first we have the lovers, and then we have the ace of swords. So this is this what they're reflecting on. They are looking back. They're gaining insight, clarity uh, on the connection, on what's gone on, the, the choices that they've made, okay? Um, somebody here definitely feels like they made the wrong choices in their life within this connection. Um, they definitely made the wrong choices here and now they're starting to see things very clearly. So they could be seeing things from your perspective. What's at the bottom of the deck? The tower. Oh, dang. The tower. What's happening for them now is the choices that they've made. Like, you know, you know, that old saying is like, you make your bed and now you lie in it. And that's kind of what's going on here. Right. And what that is means, if you're not familiar with it, a lot of people are, but maybe some aren't. But what that talks about is like, you know, you make the choices that you make and then you have to deal with the consequences. And right now, the consequence for this individual for hurting you, for not being kind, for breaking the rules, breaking the contract, breaking the marriage, whatever they did, stepping out on the situation, betraying you, stabbing you in the back. Like this is some real ish. Like they really did a number. Um, and it took you a while to pick yourself back up from the situation, right? Like, let's be real. This is the energy we're reading on. What's happening now for them is they are very much not... They're, they're going through this like sleepless nights. They're, they're, they are very much haunted is probably the best word that I can use to describe the feeling is they are haunted. Wake like the walking dead. It's like constant, um, reminders. Their, their mind is not shutting off. They are very much going through it, um, in their feelings right now. 
going over what it is that they have done, what happened in the past, okay? Um, what's happened in the past, what they've done to sever this relationship, to harm this relationship um, to themselves, to you, to others. You know, they've just, um, they're really living with the consequences right now. And I feel like they are going through a breakdown, okay? With the Tower Energy, the Nine of Swords, this is not a good situation, not a good situation. So I really want a few details to see what really has been going down what is this tower please what is this tower for this person there's the lovers flipped right over again okay this person made the wrong choice in love or or in general this is general for you and this is not a lover um and this is just you know they made the wrong choice they've made the wrong choices repeatedly i'm saying here uh, we have the seven of wands they're See, the Seven of Wands, I'm going to have to clarify as well. Just give me a second because the Seven of Wands can speak to somebody standing up for what it is they believe in or defending themselves or creating boundaries. Like it can be a couple things. But what I do see here is the High Priestess in the reverse. So some type of secret has come out. Okay. Now, if I relate this to, um, uh, let's just say you're with somebody and they cheated or they had a third party or something happened like that. Um, something is coming to light with that person. What if they chose that person over you? I don't know what happened. Um, a hundred percent. If they did, if they didn't, whatever happened. Um, what I see here going on right now for them is, is there's something that's coming up to the surface. There's a secret that's been revealed here. Um, and it is not a good thing. Okay. It is not a good thing. It is causing a lot of, uh, I just heard embarrassment. It's causing embarrassment. Some, this this individual, whoever they're dealing with right now, whatever situation, um, however they broke the rules and the law, the marriage contract, um, they are highly embarrassed right now. They're having to fend off of negative opinions about their own choices. They may, oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. What is happening is that, look, okay, the Queen of Pentacles, this person is catching so much flack for what they did to you. Now, this is an interesting storyline because I do see that at the time where they had betrayed you, at the time they had betrayed you, you may not have been in your glow up energy, okay? You may not have been in the space that you are right now as far as healed, things going well, you know, taking care of yourself, your finances, your business, whatever, your family, um, nurturing your own growth, being on your own path. I don't know. I just feel like you are kind of there right now. You've got this like, you've got this like um, X factor, as they call it, like the, I don't know, you just got this incredibly, um, incredibly beautiful energy at the moment and you are highly attractive, right? Okay, this could be divine feminine. This could be your twin flame. I mean, it can go so many ways being general. But what's going on here is that, you know, they're now catching flack. Okay, so the secret has been revealed. The secret's been revealed. There's been something that's come up to the surface. We'll get into that in a moment. Something's come out, something that they didn't know about. Um, maybe if there was involved a third party situation, they didn't know um, something shady about this person. So now they're catching flack about the choice that they made originally. They may have thrown you to the wolves. They may have, um, you know, betrayed you. Well, I see that they did. They betrayed you absolutely. Um, and they made the wrong choice. They're seeing this right now. They made the wrong choice. And now what's being revealed is like the other shoe is dropping for them. Things are breaking down and they're looking like a fool. Okay. They're looking very foolish for choosing this other person, this other situation. They're feeling foolish. People are saying, why, why, why would you do that? Why would you hurt our beautiful tribe member? Why would you do that? Why would you leave them for this? Like, you know, there's this kind of a, they're being, they're being judged. Okay. This person's under, under judgment from family, from friends. I'm seeing here from their community, this person's under judgment. Um, this makes no sense at all. Like, you know, here's justice coming through. This is the karma. This is the justice. So we're going to have to get into this person's motives and things like that. I kind of want to know the why, you know, why did they betray you? You know, maybe you want to know that too. Like, why did they think that? Why did they think it was a, a good idea um, to betray somebody who is so divinely protected, who is so elevated, who is so beautiful, who is so loving and wise and caring and all the good things? I know this is you because we have... You know, we <laughs> we have the two of cups, or we have the two of cups, we have the yin energy, we've got all of this 
beautiful stuff. We have you showing up as the star. You know, it's, you've got a really good vibe, okay? You've got a really good vibe. We have the four of wands. I'm trying to find, find out the why. The four of wands. The knight of swords again. The knight of swords again. What's this? The fool. Why, 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 why? This person, you know what they did? First of all, I'll tell you what they did. I feel like they rushed into another connection. Okay, so if this happened to you, I'm going to, this is what we're reading on. They rushed into another connection that's basically falling apart in front of their very eyes, you know? Yeah, they rushed into another connection. Another situation. They thought this person, okay, this is, I mean, they thought this person was going to be the one. Okay, they did. They did. And I, I'm sorry if that hurts for me to say it. I mean, it's already happened. I didn't do it to you, so I'm sorry that it happened. But they did think that this, the, the new connection was going to be successful. They did think that they were going to be in love. But the thing is, or they did think that they were going, they were in love. They were falling in love. They, they're in a very foolish energy. Okay, so this person was definitely very foolish. Look at this. I'm going to show you in a second. You know, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the four of swords, we have the fool. So they rushed into something new, absolutely. This is what was highly unfair to you, okay? They rushed into something new. And like, honestly, they 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 thought that it was going to be successful. We have the six of wands, we have the ace of cups and the ace of wands. Ace of wands and ace of cups is very much a fleeting energy. I gotta tell you that in a love reading, it is based on, Yes, attraction and those butterfly feelings and all of that, like, oh, I'm in love, you know, it's, but there's no practical, there's no, nothing practical that is grounding that connection, okay? It's very fleeting. Um, people can, you know, if you chew a different way or something and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't know if that person's really attractive or something like that, you know? I know it's really surface level, but this is what it was. There was a surface level attraction um, that they thought, oh my gosh, you're the person, you're the one that I, I, I've always dreamt of. Maybe they look a certain way or they act a certain way or, you know, they listen to a certain kind of music or like something very surface is what I'm trying to get at. I don't know what their exact detailed reasons were, but they basically dropped you to pursue something that was like flashy and shiny. Okay. Very surface level, um, flashy, shiny, or like, you know, they felt that, oh my gosh, you're the one, you're the one I've been looking for. Okay. They would have only, like, all the boxes would have only been ticked on a very superficial level, okay? They would have looked good on paper is basically what it is. But what's happening now, okay, now that there has been some time that has passed, now that there has been some getting to know you energy and things like that, um, there has been nothing here to ground the connection. They're starting to see all of those people, that person, um, I don't want to say flaws. I mean, we're all human. We're all flawed. But they're starting to see the real person behind it. They're starting to find out these secrets. They're, start, they're starting to find out who this person really is. And what is going on is that they are highly embarrassed by them. Okay. It's really unfortunate. I mean, I don't know what it is. But we have the five. We have the five of swords here. Followed by. <laughs> followed by this two of cups again. Four of Pentacles, there's a story, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Nine of Swords, and the Tower again with the Devil. Okay, I gotta tell you something. Now, I know we, we don't read with gender, okay? We don't read with gender, but there is like a, a saying, this person was like following their D, or thinking with the wrong head, or something like that. So they were basically, definitely... Uh, chasing after something superficial and shiny. And that's what they did. That's what they did. Okay. So why am I saying all this? I know we're getting to that like half hour mark and I usually have to take an energy break at that point in time. So I probably will, I will extend this to see what's happening um, even further down the timeline here, but what's currently going on. And I want to actually get into a little bit more detail with this too, because I love the tea. Oh my gosh. I love the tea. Um, they are finding out secrets. They are finding out 
um, things, this person is the person that they chose over you is just freaking embarrassing them. Okay. They're embarrassing them on all levels. Um, maybe on their socials with their friends, with their family. It's like, oh my gosh, can you not like, there is definitely something here that is not like, it's not kosher with them. Like they are not enjoying it. Um, and so some of that attraction and initial, that initial attraction, that initial, um, bubbling feeling of love that they had or success or a vision of the future with this person. They rushed into it. They did not think this through. They did not give this, give it time to, they didn't know this person. They did not have a friendship or a basis or anything like that involved with this individual. They just acted like it was like a impulsive. It was impulsive. Okay. And now they are highly embarrassed with the choice they made. Not only that, Okay, not only are they highly embarrassed with the person that they chose, but they're getting flack from their friends and their family on the choice that they made and how they betrayed you, like because you're in this glow up energy and you are the, the better option here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even sure if you are an option for them anymore, because I don't know. I mean, like a lot of you have like shed this completely. Okay, but some of you are probably curious and want the tea as well. So we're going to go there and to the extended if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I mean, dang, dang, they are very much embarrassed. Okay. And they're catching flack and I want to know what's being said. Um, I want to know what's happening. I'm going to know, I, I want to get into now because they're obviously going through this tower situation. Um, they're definitely going through the tower situation. They're definitely regretting the choice that they made. Um, they're in this energy of right now, currently holding back, holding on to you, going back over the heartache. I mean, I'm just kind of repeating the record, so I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to move on and move forward in the extended reading. But yeah, it does look like they're not getting a lot of sleep. They are losing sleep over what they've done here. They're losing sleep over it. I feel like they kind of don't know what's going to happen next, what they should do. That's what I remember going back to, who knows, 10 minutes ago in the reading when I was like, they're waiting, wishing, watching, waiting for the right time to come through. They do re want reconciliation, but it is after they've basically shot themselves in the foot. Okay. They basically shot themselves in the foot. So, I mean, that's going to be up to you. If you're interested, we'll extend it. I'll go there now. Okay. I'll go there now. Um, for those of you who aren't interested in it, I do want to get some type of, let's get a love affirmation here for you. A love affirmation. Um, I mean, it's for everybody, but I don't want to leave anyone hanging. I'm going to just close out this reading here. Just so you know, they do regret the choice they made and they're catching flack for it. Okay. Um, we have boundaries that came up. Yes. Okay. Um, boundaries. We have, I claim my right. Okay. I claim my right to set healthy boundaries and I allow others to do the same. Sometimes personal space is taken and sometimes it's given. Sometimes if you're on the subway, it's completely disregarded and shamelessly invaded. I guess it depends on the day. So it depends on the situation. You know, it's just talking about boundaries, which I, I can see that you have already set um, for yourself and with this person. We do have some interesting vibes that have come through as well. Um, and yeah, these are trying to be funny. These cards, they're called like, what are they called? Affirmators, love and relationships. There's So that's why they try to be funny. But anyway, we have benefit of the doubt, okay? I believe in the basic goodness of other people and I give them the chance to show it. If they prove me wrong, that's on them. Okay. At least I can go to sleep knowing that I practice trust and forgiveness rather than fear and doubt. And later on, if I need to, I can always change my mind and retroactively judge them like it's my career. <laughs> kind of funny, but like some of you are going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. Some of you have already done that. Some of you have boundaries up, like y'all know where you stand. So uh, we do have compassion coming up as well. Okay. I choose compassion over criticism. Walking a mile in other people's shoes reminds me that they might be going through something tougher than I think. Uh, like their shoes are too tight or their, or their kind of shoes, or they're the kind of shoes that are too casual to be dressy and too dressy to be casual. Basically, I have no idea what they're dealing with privately, so I'll cut them some slack and be thankful for the shoes I've been dealt. Okay, some of you might do that. Some of you, you may give them the benefit of the doubt, hear them out. Um, you know, this person did act very impulsively, but they did hurt you. So this is all up to you. We have support. I look at the vast network of support in my life and I'm reminded 
of what a superpower it gives me. At any moment, I can call in an army of top-notch people who want the best for me, which means I'm basically invincible. Take that, loneliness. Run for the hills, boredom. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say to me? Pervasive, all-consuming anxiety? Damn right you didn't. Basically saying that, like, you have support. If you are feeling a certain type of way about this, if you're if you're looking for guidance, if you're looking for additional support, um, call on your friends, call on your family, call on spirit, call on your angels, guides, ancestors, whatever it is that you believe in, higher power, right? Um, you will be, you are being supported in all that you do okay being supported in all that you do um with that i am going to close down the reading and then we'll move over to the extended the links will be in the description box below but i'll probably place them in the comments as well um along with other resources and materials if i can yeah along with resources and materials i am going to extend it okay all right i'm sending you lots of love and i will speak to you again take care happy solstice happy national indigenous people day as well and uh don't forget to let me know how you celebrate take care